Okay, everybody, good evening. Welcome in. Let's go ahead and get started in the first child's pose. Everybody right now, the, the, the name of the game is to just find a little bit of quietness and stillness and to, uh, to really just come into a space where you're not grasping or you're not trying to get somewhere, you're not trying to make something happen. You just slip into a, a state of allowance and ultimately a state of just being. And that should feel pretty good because in that state there is no stress, there is no anxiety, there is no fear, there is no worry. So you come into a, a state we call santosha. Santosha just means contentment. And then as you let the forehead rest down onto the mat, the hips rest back onto the heels of the feet, and you get a nice stretch across the back, the spine, the hips, and the inner thighs. See if you can start to observe that flow of air right now, just coming in and out through your nostrils and your nose. And then with the breath that's coming in and out through your nose, start to sculpt it. Start to invite those inhales down deeper and then press those exhales out longer so you extend your breath out to about three, four seconds on the inhale, three to four seconds on the exhale as well. So slow the breath down, let it become fluid, almost like a wave just rolling in and out through the nostrils, in and out through the nose. And then let the mind and let the breath fuse together, become welded together, almost like two pieces of steel. So they become inseparable. And that's really the foundation, the practice. And we're just going to build everything on top of that. So all the athleticism, all the strengthening, all the stretching, all the balancing, all the focusing, all the stamina, all the cardio, all of that, it's placed onto this firm, solid bedrock of foundation, the breath and the mind, just being continuous and being steady and being consistent. And it's that consistency that will really leave you here just feeling transformed and amazing and way better than when you started. And then one last thing, if you ever need to take a break or a rest, at any point, just feel free to drop the knees down onto the mat. Child's pose is always here for you if you want it. Kind of like a safety net to catch you if you need to fall in. So with that breath and that flow and with that mind deep in that yoga zone, let's just go ahead and start to build a powerful, dynamic flow by coming all the way up onto the knees, all the way up to tabletop pose, all fours position. And then from tabletop pose, lift the left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor, extend and reach that right arm straight out in front of you. Just coming into the very first physically active pose of the class, we call this the sunbird. Left hand pressing strong down onto the ground, stimulating left tricep, left shoulder. And then your two extended limbs that are lifted, just take an inhale, pull those out away from each other. And then right elbow to left knee, exhale, fold and curl in, igniting that core. Inhale, reach back out, get long. And then exhale, fold back in, core strong. 
Good. One more time. Inhale. Pull out. And then exhale. Fold back in. Sunbird on the inhale. Reach it out. Tabletop pose. Hand knee foot down to the mat. Switch sides. Right leg off the ground. Parallel to the floor. And then take that left arm. Extend and radiate it straight out in front of you. Spread the left fingers wide. Lift the left bicep around that left ear. And then just find a focal point on the ground directly beneath your eyes and fixate your eyes at that point. Good. Inhale, pull out, lift up. And then exhale, fold in. Inhale, pull out, let the breath lead the way. Exhale, round back in. Inhale, draw out for the power of three. Exhale, fold in easily. Good. Inhale, back out to sunbird. Tabletop pose, hand knee foot down to the mat, and then step back to plank pose, upper push up position. As you come into plank, upper push up, drive dynamically back through your legs, your heels, and your feet. At the same time, you feel your heart extending forward. Notice the shoulders right above the wrist, the stomach firm, so navel up and in, and then soften your face, soften your jaw, soften your tongue, soften your forehead. And then with that upper body tremendously strong, take one last inhale, plank. And then exhale, lower slowly all the way down onto your belly. Good. Release the tops of the feet. Lift the hands off the ground a couple of inches. Coming into floating, floating cobra. Lift your hands up, lift your chest up. And then just see if you can take a, take a few breaths there. Good. If you want to lift the legs, lift the feet off the ground, sometimes that feels good as well. And the good thing about floating cobras, since you don't have the hands on the ground, you just, you're in a place where you have to use pure back muscles. So waking up the back, waking up the muscles that support that spine. Take one last inhale, lift that chest up a tad higher. And then exhale, chest, chin, hands back down to the ground. Release the tops of the feet as well. Good. Now, cobra, inhale, keep the hands down. Lift that chest up. And then exhale, chest and chin back down to the mat. Good. Two more of those. Inhale, come back up. Cobra number two. And then exhale, chest and chin down, soft and smooth. One more time. Inhale, rise up. This time, you're just going to hold there. Keep those elbows in, just like the floating cobra. Feel that heart lengthening forward. Feel that chest starting to elevate and lift up. And then roll those shoulders back down so your neck is long. One last big inhale, cobra. And then down dog on the exhale. Curl the toes, lift the hips up high. Drop the head down low and come back to that breath. Where's your yoga mat? You go rent one from the store up there. Two dollars. No, it's not going to work for you. I mean, sliding all over the place. You rent one up there for two dollars. Good, everybody. Welcome to that first downward facing dog of the practice. Notice your hips lifting straight up to the sky. So lift your hips up. Up, 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 up. Good. See if you can spread those fingers out wide as can be. Get the index straight forward, dead ahead. And then just drive the whole surface of the palm firm, solid, down into the mat. Feel that rapport into the floor. Feel the energy transferring from the center of your hand down into the ground below you. And then from that connection, feel those hips sloping high to the sky like the apex of a triangle. And then as those hips slope up, press those heels down low and just notice that breath still. And that deep, rich, wave-like flow, just streamlining in and out through your nose. Good. With that head dangling free, take one last big inhale, stretch back, down dog. And then exhale, lightly walk, both feet all the way forward to the top of your yoga mat. Spread your feet out about the width of your hips. Bring your hands all the way up to your shins, right beneath those kneecaps. Coming into a very first halfway up flat back. Good. Notice you have your hands on your shins. And then see if you could just extend that heart forward and out away from the hips, away from the lower back. And just see how much length, how much space you can create right down the center line of that torso. Last inhale, heart draws out. And then forward fold on the exhale, melt down. 
Good. Let's do a few more of those. Inhale, flat back, spine pulling out. And then forward fold on the exhale, just melting down. Inhale, draw out breath, still leading the movement. And then exhale all the way down, just dissolve in. Good. Two more times. Inhale each time, find a little bit more length. And then exhale, forward fold, find a little bit more depth. Inhale last time, draw out. And then exhale, forward fold. Good. Hold there, put a little bend in the knees. And then bring your hands all the way up to your hips, all the way up to your waist. And then grounding through your feet, leading through your heart with a long, flat back. Next inhale, rise and fly. Both arms all the way up to the sky. And then both hands down to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart. Take a moment, close the eyes. Feel all four corners of the feet rooting evenly down into the ground. And then see if you can bring into your inner mind's eye somebody that you know in your life that is struggling. Somebody that you know in your life that could use some good energy, some good vibes. It could be a person, or it could also be a place on the planet that maybe is in a war, conflict, a natural catastrophe. And then see if you can visualize that person or visualize that place. Really see it as clear as possible. Use the muscles of your imagination. And then in your own way, see if you can dedicate and offer this practice up to their benefit, to their well-being. And find what we call karma yoga, the yoga of selfless action. The yoga of giving without expecting anything back. And when we do that, this rises and pulls us above and beyond our own, our own ego. It allows us to expand. It allows us to grow in power and strength and perspective. Good. Now let that dedication go and come back to the sky of your awareness being clear, free, vast, and at peace. And then slowly open up those eyes. Next inhale, circle both arms all the way up to the sky. Forward fold on that exhale. Dive down on that out breath. Flat back inhale, either fingers on the floor or hands to shins. You choose. And then exhale, step back to plank pose, lower down, same out breath with control. Cobra inhale, chest up, collarbone spread. And then exhale, down dog, hips high, drop that head, come back to that thread of breath. Mm. Good. If you can, really drive the undersides of every single knuckle firm down onto the mat. A lot of us have a tendency where there is one part of the hand, one or two parts or places that like to kind of buckle and lift off the ground, but really see if you can glue the whole surface of the palm firmly and evenly down into the ground. And then from here, take an inhale, wind the hips back, and then exhale, walk or jump lightly through to the top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, hands down, heart extending out. Forward fold, exhale, hanging down. Inhale, rise and fly. Both arms up to the sky. Both hands to prayer position. Bring it back inward inside. Inhale, both arms reach up as those feet drive down. Forward fold on that exhale as we just flow with that rhythm of breath. Flat back, inhale, hands down, heart out. And then exhale, step or jump back, lower down, same out breath. Cobra inhale, chest up, collarbone spread. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. It's like you're just moving through liquid. See how much fluidity you can bring into how you move your body through the space. Kind of like you're just surfing those waves of breath, waves of breath. Smooth out the breath, smooth out the movements. And allow the mind to be smooth and fluid as well. So it's not jumpy or jerky or erratic. Everything just becomes steady and fluid. Good. Next cycle. Inhale. Stretch back. Strong arms. And then exhale. Walk or fly. Both feet through. Inhale. Flat back. Spine out. Forward fold. Exhale. Hang low. 
Inhale, rise and soar. Both arms up high as they'll go. Both hands to prayer in that yoga zone. Inhale, reach those arms up to the sky. Forward fold, exhale, blending that breath, body and mind. Inhale, flat back, pull that air down deep. And then exhale, step or jump back and lower down with muscle and strength. Inhale, chest up. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Good, everybody. Now come up onto the tips of your toes. See how high you can lift up through your hips. And then let the heel swivel all the way over towards the right side of the space. And then see if you can breathe into your left ribs. Breathe into that left lung. As you fill that lung all the way up to capacity. So heels to the right. You're breathing into the left ribs. There's a spot right in the middle, second row. Good. Come back up onto the tips of the toes. Inhale. Same thing, other side. Let the heels swivel to the left. And then just breathe. Breathe into the right ribs. Feel the ribs expanding. Feel the ribs swinging out as you inhale. And then feel those ribs swinging back in as you exhale. Find that rib swing breath. Good. Both heels back down the center line. Take one last inhale. And then heels down to the ground on the exhale. Take those outer upper arms. See if you can spiral those to that back wall. Then on a huge inhale, stretch back. Last cycle of these. And then exhale, walk or float both feet through quietly. Inhale, flat back, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, dipping into the back of the legs. Inhale, rise and elevate both arms up. Exhale, both hands to prayer, back to where it matters. Inhale, like devotion and motion, we flow. Exhale, forward fold, athleticism blended with the meditation. Inhale, flat back, fill those lungs up with oxygen. And then exhale, step or jump back, lower down, keeping those elbows tucked in. Inhale, sweet back bend. And then exhale, you got it, downward facing dog. Good, everybody. Those are gone. Those are in the rearview mirror. Now, moving right along. Let's lift the right leg up to the sky, inhale. And then right knee to the belly on the exhale, shoulders above wrist, knee to forehead. Inhale, right leg presses back. Down dog, right foot on the mat. Good. Left leg lifts up, inhale. And then left knee to the belly, exhale. Inhale, left leg back. And then down dog, left foot on the mat. Good. Right leg to the sky, inhale, still moving. Right knee to right tricep, give it a little touch. Inhale, right leg back. And then down dog, right foot on the mat. Now left leg to the sky, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, exhale. Good. Inhale, left leg back. Down dog, left foot on the mat. One more cycle. Right leg up, inhale. Right knee to left tricep, exhale, cross. Inhale, take your time. And then down dog, right foot down. Good. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, right tricep, twist. Inhale, left leg back. And then left foot back onto the mat. Hold there. Take a big inhale through the nose. And then out through the mouth, just let it go. Good, palms digging solid into the mat. Take an inhale, stretch back. And then exhale, walk or slingshot top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, heart out. And then forward fold on the exhale. Lift the left leg off the ground parallel to the floor. Put a little bend in that bottom right knee. And then warrior three airplane. Just lift your torso up level with that back left leg. And then run both arms aerodynamically down by your ribs, down along your sides. Good. Feel that bottom right leg driving firm, solid into the ground. And then can you keep your neck long by slightly tucking your chin in? Slightly tuck the chin in and just gaze down. Good. Still breathing deep, breathing free. Take one last inhale. Get light as can be. And then both hands down to the ground. Left leg stays up in the air. Now crawl both hands in towards your right foot, right leg. 
And then relax the head, relax the neck, let the weight of that skull go. Pull back really long through that back left leg and just lift it up till it feels revealing. But at the same time, it's not like it feels overwhelming. It's not too little. It's not too much. It's just right. Good. One more inhale. Lift that left leg up a little bit more. And then left foot next to right foot. Top of the mat. Release. Slap back. Inhale. Loads of length. Forward fold. Exhale. Lift that right leg off the ground parallel to the floor. Put a little bend in that bottom left knee, and then when you're ready, warrior three, airplane, just lift up and take flight on the other side. Look, you guys, yoga practice is just like life. It's like a little slice of life. There's highs, there's lows, there's success, there's failure, there's pleasure, there's pain, there's challenges, there's sweetnesses. It's all here. It's all going to rise. Your job is to move through that pendulum swinging and oscillating from one thing to the next, your job is to move that with steadiness and equanimity and inner balance. One more big inhale to soar. Both hands down to the floor. Right leg stays up. Crawl both hands in towards that left foot, left leg. And just be in that mode of an adventurous spirit. Like you're just on a little adventure tonight. Sunday night adventure and you're just journeying through the whole landscape of your body, the earth of the body, the ocean of the mind, the sea of the heart. And on that adventure, you're having an experience. And through that experience, you grow, you live, you learn, you evolve, you transform. So you could say that the experience that you're having is the real teacher, and your job is to pay attention to that. One last big inhale, lift that right leg up. And then right foot next to left foot, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, heart drawing out. And then forward fold, exhale, feet together, bend the knees, squat the hips down. Chair pose, one inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest, pull the biceps back. And then forward fold on that exhale, cascade down to the mat. Inhale, flat back, hands down, breath deep. And then exhale, step or jump back and lower down with the utmost of integrity. Cobra or up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale, right leg to the sky, inhale. And then right knee to the belly on the exhale, connect. Inhale, right leg lengthens back. And then right foot flows top of the mat, deep as it can go. Now rest the chest flat on top of right thigh and then extend both arms straight down by your sides. Good. Bend your right knee right above that front right ankle, right heel as you drive and press back to that left leg long and strong. Good. Now keeping that torso parallel to the ground, just take both arms and extend those straight out in front of you to that front wall. Good. Left leg driving back, hands and arms reaching forward and out. Neck stays long, chin slightly tucking in. Good, you guys. Now both arms straight behind you to the back wall. Inhale, crescent pose, rise up. You have five breaths there. Good. Keep bending that right knee deep for one. Good. Reach those arms up tall for two. Good. Spread those fingers wide for three. Good. Maybe you could even lean back a tad for four. Now one last big inhale, you find that climax for five, and then exhale, vinyasa, lower all the way down as you glide. Inhale, chest up, collarbones wide, and then exhale back, downward facing dog. Mm. Good, other side, left leg lifts up, inhale, and then left knee to the belly, exhale. Inhale, left leg back, and then exhale, left foot, top of the mat. Good, chest on top of left eye, both arms aerodynamically down by your sides. Try and get your feet spread out a good four, four and a half feet apart, so you got a nice wide stance. Good, keeping that breath and that, that steady fluid flow. Let's take both arms, reach them straight out in front of you to that front wall. And just watch. Watch the experience. Watch unfolds. Good. Notice the energy bubbling up. Notice the energy starting to percolate from deep within. Good. Now, both arms straight behind you. Back wall. Inhale, crescent, rise all the way up. 
Good, you guys. We want you to feel anchored through that lower body, root down into the ground below you. Feel that strength. Feel that stability down low. Good, but imagine your whole upper body is filled with helium. So your whole upper body, like a balloon, buoyantly could just float straight up to the sky. One last inhale, reach up, get strong, get light. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower down, steady mind. Inhale, chest up, shoulders low. And then exhale, back, downward, face and dog. Good, big inhale through the nose. And then side out through the mouth, let it out. Good, you guys, now we're going to amp it up. We're going to kick it into gear. We call this the second warm-up series. And uh, even though things kind of get, you know, quickened a little bit, the pace gets amped up a little bit, it's still a moving meditation. So each movement still comes from a place deep inside of you, a place of truth, a place of sincerity, and a place of inner wisdom. So you're not practicing from the ego. You're just practicing from the wisdom of what your body is speaking to you. Now let's flow here. Inhale, stretch back. And then exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. And then forward fold, exhale, bend the knee, squat down. Chair pose, inhale, arms up, fingers spread. Forward fold, exhale, drop that head. Remember, you're moving fluid. Inhale, flat back. And then exhale, step or jump back and lower down strong. Inhale, chest up till it feels spot on. Down dog, exhale, right leg to the sky, inhale. Right knee to the belly, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, right leg back. And then exhale, right foot, top of the mat. Inhale, crescent, rise, reach up. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower all the way down without collapsing. Inhale, chest up. And then exhale, down dog, left leg lifts up, inhale. Left knee to the belly, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, left leg back. And then exhale, left foot deep. Inhale, rise, reach up, lean back. Exhale, vinyasa, lower all the way down to your yoga mat. Cobra or up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Hmm. Good. What's the experience now? You're probably noticing your body temperature rising. Good. You might notice that you got to bring a little effort into smoothing out the breath. You might notice that skin starting to glisten with sweat, that detoxifying sweat. What's the experience for you? And can you watch that like a hawk without any judgment, without any criticism, without any avoidance? Just breathing into whatever's there and having shraddha, having faith that whatever's there is there for a very good reason. Good. Cycle two. Inhale, stretch back, sink in. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet through again. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, forward fold, squat down. Chair pose, inhale, arms up, fingers spread. Exhale, forward fold, hinging down. Good. Inhale, flat back. And then exhale, step or jump back and lower down strong. Inhale, spread that heart beautifully wide. Down dog on the exhale as we glide. Right leg up, inhale. Right knee to the belly, exhale. Inhale, right leg long. Exhale, right foot strong. Inhale, come up strong but light. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower down, and enjoy the ride. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale. Left knee to the abdominals, exhale. Inhale, left leg cuts back. Exhale, left foot, top of the mat. Inhale, rise with strength but grace. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower down with that soft, relaxed face. Inhale, chest up, and then exhale back, downward facing dog, breathe. Good. This is usually a good place to take a couple lion's breaths, so big inhale through the nose, 
Stick out the tongue and let it all out. Good. Two more times. Inhale, big inhale. Exhale, clear. Good. One more time. Inhale, don't be shy. Just let it all out. Woo. Good, everybody. Last cycle of these, and then we'll move on. Inhale, stretch back. Strong arms. Exhale, walk or shoot both feet through. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, squat deeper. Inhale, chair, lift those arms up a little higher. Exhale, forward fold as we stoke that inner fire. Inhale, flat back, fill those lungs up. Exhale, step or jump back and lower with that muscle. Inhale, bend that spine with that sweetness. Exhale, down dog, here we go, right leg up, inhale. Right knee to the core, exhale, feel that power. Inhale, drive that power back. Exhale, flow at top of the mat. Inhale, you rise and you shine. Exhale, vinyasa lower down without a quantum mind. Inhale, blending breath, body, mind. Exhale, down dog, last side. Inhale, left leg high. Left knee to belly, nail that bull's eye. Inhale, drive it back. Exhale, flow it deep. Inhale, rise to the occasion. Exhale, vinyasa lower down and enjoy that circulation. Inhale, pumping that blood through the body, that's all. Exhale, you made it, downward facing dog. Mm. Good, everybody. You know, you got the, the warm-ups already now in the rear view mirror. That's already behind you. And before you know it, the whole yoga practice is going to be gone. See if you can just suck the juice out of every breath, every moment, every pose, and every little iota of sensation that you're feeling. Inhale, stretch back. And then exhale, walk or jump top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, draw that heart out. And then forward fold, exhale, spread the feet out about the width of the hips. And then reach down, grab the big toes, first two fingers. And then on an inhale, pull the chest up and out, find that length. And then forward fold on the exhale, find the depth, bending the elbows. And just pulling gently the top of the head straight down towards the ground. You know, it's amazing, you know, how far yoga's come. And in the last decade or two, you know, we have professional athletes doing it. We have professional fighters doing it. We have the young, we have the old, we have the poor, we have the rich. You know, it's it's been around for thousands of years, and it's still here, still here, benefiting all demographics, all types. Because the beauty about yoga is that each pose, you're, you're literally tailoring it to you and your uniqueness. You're making it work for you. You're finding the sweet spot within every pose, and every pose is touching different muscles and joints and bones. And then there's that more subtle component of working mentally with that, that piercing focus and concentration where the mind is just in the power of now. And then there's that heart component of working with the qualities like compassion and gentleness and sensitivity and love. I mean, you take those qualities and you pour that into anything on the planet, whether that's another human being, a plant, or an animal, it's going to flourish. You're just pouring those qualities into your own self so that you can flourish within all aspects of life. Now release the big toes, bring the hands behind the lower back, and then interlace the fingers, draw those arms towards straight. As you get into the upper back, get into the neck and shoulders. Good, and then while you're doing this, see if you can turn your chin all the way over towards your right shoulder so that you stretch the side of the neck. That should feel good. And then same thing to the other side. Just pivot that, that chin all the way over there by the left shoulder and just stretch the other side of the neck. Good. Then bring the chin back to middle. Take one last inhale, deepen into the shoulders. And then exhale, softly relax both hands down to the mat. Nice, you guys. 
Now, keeping the feet spread the width that they are, bend the knees, sit down really deep till your thighs are parallel to the mat. Keep the feet flat on the ground. Rest your chest on top of your thighs. And then extend both arms straight down by your sides. Good. Feet flat, thigh bones parallel to the ground. So you kind of look like you're, you're a skier about to go downhill. Good. Draw that heart forward and out. Keep the cervical spine, the neck long, chin slightly in. Now keep the knees bent where they are. Take both arms, extend them straight out in front of you. Good. Now keep the right arm reaching forward. Bring the left arm behind you and then spread your arms out away from each other. Pull that left elbow straight. Pull that right elbow straight. Good. Now switch arms. Left arm forward. Right arm back. When things get intense, that's where you got to make sure you don't lose the foundation of the breath. Now both arms forward. Inhale. Both arms behind you on the exhale without straightening your knees. Inhale, lift the chest up, but keep those knees bent deep as can be. Good. Arms reaching up. Feet flat on the ground. Face saw, breath in that flow. Now, keeping those knees bent, come up onto the tips of your toes. Challenge your balance. Good. Challenge your capacity to stay calm in the midst of the turbulence. Good. Now, on the tips of the toes, come all the way up to standing and lift those arms up high as they'll go. Good. How about using the strength of your feet to help you create lows of length as you reach those arms up sky high to the heavens? Take one last big inhale, reach up, and then heels to the ground. Right hand comes down, but left arm stays up in the sky. Inhale, reach that left arm up, and then exhale, just lean to the right effortlessly, organically. And then breathe into those left ribs. Take advantage of that warmth that you created and allow yourself to find more and more suppleness and elasticity. Good. Right hand comes up to meet the left hand. Inhale. Palms connect. And then other side. Left hand down. Right arm stays up. One inhale. Pull up to that right arm. And then exhale. Just lean to the left. And then get long across the whole right side body. Just moving through, moment by moment, breath by breath. Left hand up to meet the right hand, and both palms connect. Forward fold on that exhale, dive down on that out breath. Good, flat back, inhale, hands down, heart lengthens out. And then step back to plank pose, pause there. As we now set up four, three yogi style push ups. Inhale, lower down, chaturanga right above the ground. And then exhale, press up plank. Good. Two more of those. Inhale down. And then exhale, rise up. Good. One more time. Inhale, notice that jaw soft. Exhale, rise up. Now hold there. Take an inhale, plank. And then lower down, slow exhale. Cobra, up dog, inhale, body surfing with breath. And then exhale, down dog. Now lift that right leg to the sky, inhale. And then right knee to right tricep, hold it right there. Swing the right knee to left arm, inhale. And then right knee to right arm on the exhale, pause. Two more of those. Inhale, swing it across. Exhale, pause. One more time, inhale, swing. And exhale, pause. Good. Now, right leg, back wall, inhale. Right foot, top of the mat, exhale. Crescent pose, inhale, rise and reach those arms up. Woo. Good. Now, rotate your torso to the right wall. Bring the right arm behind you, the left arm straight out in front of you. And then see how much you can increase that wingspan. Spread those arms out wide. Good. Notice the right knee bit right above that front right ankle. So sit down low. Get that spine tall and straight. Now flip those palms up to the sky. Soften the neck. And then inhale. Lean forward. Reach out. And then exhale. Return to center. Good. Inhale. Travel away from center. And then exhale. Reunite. One more time. Inhale out. Good. Exhale. Back up. Now face forward. Arms to the sky. Inhale. And then warrior two. Back foot flat. Left arm behind you. And then right arm straight out in front of you. Try and get both arms. 
right in alignment with each other. Try and have this awareness where each pose, each shape that you find your body in is kind of like a work of art. And you want to be mindful of those lines of energy. You want to be mindful of the angles, the shape, the contour. And then just find that gaze out across that front right middle finger where the eyes go is where your attention goes. And where the attention goes is where the energy flows. So the eyes and where the mind is at is a crucial component within the experience as well. That's why we spend those opening few moments or minutes, we should say, to just kind of allow you to focus and dial in. Good. Now straighten that front right leg, both arms up overhead, inhale, palms together. And then warrior two on the exhale, flow back down. Two more of those, inhale, just coast up. And then exhale, just coast it down. One more time, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, back down. Awesome. Hold there. Flip that right palm to the sky. And then reverse warrior. Left hand, outer left leg. And then right arm pulls up and back. Try and get those right toes dead ahead. That's it. And try and track that right knee towards the second or third toe. Right towards the middle of your foot. And then pull that right bicep around that right ear. Still breathing deep and free. Good. One last inhale. Stretch back to explore. And then exhale back to warrior two. Now straighten that front right knee, right leg. Slide the back foot in a couple of inches closer. And then ever so slightly, turn those back left toes slightly forward. And then triangle pose. Reach that right arm forward. Let that left hip slide backward. And then set the right hand right on top of your right foot and reach that left arm straight up to the sky. Good. Get that spine right above that right leg. Press down through the right hand. Pull up through that left arm. Draw that chest up and out so the torso is long and spacious. Good. Now bring the left hand around behind the lower back. And then try and grab the inside of your right leg, right thigh. So you take it in two a triangle bind or a wrap. Keep the right hand down on top of your right foot, though. And then extend that chest, that heart, up and out. Good, and then roll that left chest open so you're not collapsing in the pose. Good, breathe. Now take that bottom right arm, extend it forward and out to that front wall. Rotate the right palm up to the sky. And then see if you can keep turning that left chest and that left shoulder open all maintaining the length of that right arm dynamically pulling out. Good. Now right hand comes back down. Keep the left arm in the bind. Turn your gaze down. Look 10 to 12 inches in front of the right foot, slightly to the right. Put a little bend in that front right knee, and then step up into a bound half moon so the left hand's tied behind the back. Good. Feel that bottom right leg strong. If you fall out, no big deal. Just fall with a smile on your face. Fall without getting frustrated. It's all good. You're just practicing yoga. It's a practice, not a performance. So full effort equals full victory. You're just doing the best that you can do. And that's all that's asked. Now left arm back up to the sky. So traditional half moon. Feel every extended limb radiating out away from your trunk, away from that torso. Now put a little slight bend in that bottom right knee. Step all the way back to warrior two, soft as can be. And then reverse warrior, inhale, cock that bow and arrow back. Both hands to the mat, pause there. Both hands down, come on to back left toes. And then lean into the left hand, take the right arm and reach it up to the sky. Good. Descend down to that bottom left hand and ascend up through that top right arm. And then your bottom left shoulder, see if you can pull that back so both sides of the neck are evenly long. Now turn the right chest open and then reach that top right arm forward and out to that front wall. And as you reach that right arm forward, try and turn the right ribs open to the sky. So barrel those right ribs open. Good. Now right arm comes back up to the sky. This next transition is tricky, but give it a shot. Do your best. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. 
spread arm lunging twist. Good. Now take that back right hand, set it on top of your left hamstring, that left leg, and then take the left arm and pull it straight up to the ceiling. Good. Pull the left arm back by that left ear. Keep bending that right knee deep, anchoring down, rooting down. And then reach up, lean back, find that sweet spot. Good. Now right arm up to meet the left arm. Inhale, find the peak of the wave. And then exhale, vinyasa. Lower down, legs on fire. Inhale, chest up, shoulders low. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Woo! Congratulations, everybody. You just made it through that side. Inhale, stretch back, down dog. And then exhale, walk or jump, both feet through. Let's get strong. Let's get lean. Let's do it with the mind, peaceful and serene. Flat back, inhale, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, spread the feet out about the width of the hips. And then lift the toes off the mat. Slide the hands deep underneath the bottoms of the feet. Try to get the toes all the way up to the crease of your wrist. And then on an inhale, pull that heart upward and outward. And then just fold on the exhale. Fold in. Feel free to close the eyes even. And just let it be like a standing resting pose. Just reuniting back to the foundation of the breath and the mind being aware. You see, almost more important than the pose itself and what you're doing is more how you do what you do. And what makes it yoga is not the posture. What makes it yoga is the, the quality and the state inside of your mind. I mean, even thousands of years ago, yoga had nothing to do with physical poses. It had everything to do with meditation and the science of the mind and becoming self-realized or enlightened. But then these yogis found through these long periods of sitting down and meditating that they got all these knots in the body. So they started creating some postures to help them work out the kinks and just kind of move blood through the body so that they could sit down and meditate for longer and longer periods of time without the body getting in the way. From here, release the hands from underneath the bottoms, the soles of the feet, and then bring your hands all the way up to your hips and your waist. And then grounding through the feet, leading through the heart. Inhale, rise and float, both arms all the way up. And then both hands to prayer position, what we call Anjali Mudra, the gesture of offering. Now heel toe the feet together side by side. Bend the knees, squat the hips down. And then chair pose, inhale, lift those arms up to the sky. Now, lean into your left foot. All you're going to do now is just lift the right foot off the ground. So, lift the right foot. Lift the right knee up so you're in a one-legged chair. Good. By the way, notice your fingers aren't limp and dead. Bring some energy into those hands by spreading those fingers wide. Now, extend that right leg straight as can be forward to the front wall. Good. Right leg straight out. Flex the front right foot. So, curl the right toes back. Extend and stick that right heel forward and out. Good. Now lift that right leg up. Some of you look a little angry right now. Take one last inhale. Lift it up a little bit more. Right foot on the floor. Back to chair. Good. Lean into your fresh right foot, right leg. And then lift the left foot off the ground. Good. Just lift it up. Remember, you're just exploring. You're, you're, you're in the midst of an excursion. Extend that left leg straight out in front of you. Good. You know, in order to be in a balancing pose like this, your brain is lighting up like fireworks. Good. So you're getting brain fitness. This is keeping the mind and the five senses sharp. Take one more inhale, lift that left leg up, and then back to chair, left foot on the ground. Good. Ukatasana, the fierce pose. Find that fierceness. Bend the knees, squat the hips down. And then one last inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back breath, deep as can be. And then exhale, step back to plank, pause there. Three more yogi-style push-ups. Inhale, chaturanga, come down. Exhale, plank, rise up. 
Good inhale, we call it danda. Exhale, that means strength. Inhale, physically and mentally. Exhale, press up. Hold there. Take a goodbye inhale, sayonara. Exhale, down slow. Inhale, chest up, hit that perfect note. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Good, left leg to the sky, inhale. Left knee to left tricep, hold it there. Left knee, right arm, inhale, swing it across. Left knee, left arm, pause. Two more. Inhale, just swing. Exhale, pause. Inhale, last chance. Exhale, pause. Left leg, back wall, inhale, long. Exhale, left foot, deep and strong. Inhale, crescent, rise from the earth, lift to the sky. And then rotate torso to the left side. Left arm back. Right arm straight out in front. Good, everybody. I don't know if you've ever been whitewater rafting, but you just made it through some class five rapids. Good job. Flip those palms to the sky, soft in the neck, soft in the shoulders. And you just keep using your mind as your paddle to steer your way down the river. Inhale, slide forward, reach out. And then exhale, return home. Good, inhale, reach a little further from home. And then exhale, come back up. One more. Inhale, draw out, and then exhale, back up, beautiful, face forward, arms to the sky, inhale, warrior two, turn the corner, back right foot flat, right arm behind, and left arm just extending out like the weapon of the warrior clearing the path. Good, these warrior poses are symbolic of finding the inner warrior. And having that warrior mentality to deal with the greatest enemy that exists for a human being, it's not an enemy that exists outside of us. It's an enemy that exists inside of us, and it's called fear. Good, many, many people have that fear, and it imprisons them. It limits them. It it limits them from living the life that they want to live. The yogis believe that you have all the tools that you could ever want to be the master of your own destiny. But you got to break through and overcome that fear, and that takes courage. That takes warrior mentality. Front left leg straight, inhale, arms up, palms kiss. Exhale, warrior two on that wave of bliss. Inhale, rise and ascend. Exhale, descend. Good, inhale, come up. And then exhale, back down. Hold there, flip that left palm to the sky. And then reverse warrior, right hand out of right leg. Left arm up and back. Good, you don't force it, you don't push it, you just let it be a sweet invitation. Let the breath invite you into a place that just feels appropriate for you based off what your body needs right here, right now. Last inhale, stretch back, and then back to warrior two. Good, straighten that front, left knee, left leg, slide the back foot in if you like, shorten the stance up. Make sure your feet also are heel to heel alignment, heel to heel. Good, now reach out to that front, left arm, slide that right hip back, and then left hand comes down, right arm gloriously reaches to the sky. Good, feel that glory within each each moment. Like you're just bringing all of you, every little ounce of you, to each moment. Now right hand around behind the lower back. Grab the inside of that left leg, left eye, or rest the hand somewhere on the lower back. That's fine too. Keep the left hand down. Just focus on how far you can extend your chest up and out. And then once you get the length, then just focus on rolling the right chest open. Bring in some mobility into your inner right chest and your inner right shoulder. Good. Now let's bring a little juice, a little, a little strength into the pose. So bottom left arm straight out in front of you. Flip the left palm up to the sky. And just notice, you know, even though it's a little stronger of a pose, you, you still haven't lost the breath. It's in those moments of intensity that we got to make sure we don't become reactive, that we don't allow our breath to become choppy and erratic. If anything, we got to breathe even more deeply. <laughs> Now, left hand comes back down. Keep that right arm in the bind. Turn the gaze down. Start bending that front left knee. And then just glide all the way up onto that front left foot, left leg. 
coming into a bound wrapping half moon. You know, you got the right hand tied behind the back. That's not going to make it any easier. It's going to make it much more challenging. But the greater the challenge, the greater the opportunity for growth. And every day, as long as we're growing and we're also giving, what we call the two Gs, growing and giving, as long as you're doing that every day, you're going to live a happy, joyful life. The moment that you stop, then that's where the suffering starts to happen. Now, take that top right arm, bring it all the way up to the sky, coming into Ardha Chandrasana. Good. Now put a little subtle bend in that front left knee. Step all the way back to warrior two softly. And then reverse warrior. Inhale, swoop it up and back. Both hands down to the mat. Pause there. Pivot onto the back right toes. Lean into the right hand. And then when you're ready, take that left arm with awareness and bring it up to the sky. Good. Now, can you take that outer left hip and can you draw it in towards your inner right thigh? So both inner thighs are pulling in towards each other, kind of like a boa constrictor wrapped around a tree branch. So you want to hug in towards the center line. Good. Now roll that left chest open and then extend that left arm forward and out towards the front wall, turning those left ribs open to the sky and pulling those ribs apart, finding space. Good. Now, left arm comes back up to the sky. Now, you're going to stand all the way up. Stand all the way up as gracefully as you can. Lift the chest up. Spread those arms out wide. Now, take that back left hand. Set it on your right hamstring. And then bring the right arm all the way up. Good. We want you to find your edge. And then we want you to flirt with that edge. We want you to dance with that precipice. We want you to explore it, but we want you to do it with respect. Good. Left arm up to meet the right arm. Big inhale to shine. Exhale. Vinyasa lower all the way down. Cobra up dog. Inhale. Let that heart open and smile wide. And then exhale back. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale through the nose. And then out through the mouth. Let it go. Good. Right leg to the sky. Inhale. Right foot top of the mat. Exhale. And then crescent pose. Inhale. Rise all the way up. Both hands to prayer position in front of the chest. Now backs and thumbs to third eye. Inhale as you salute the inner teacher. And then left elbow to the outside. The right knee. Right thigh. Lunging prayer twist to the right. Make sure you got your right foot at the top of your mat. Right foot's on the right leg. Good. Now drive back to that left leg. Turn those right ribs open to the sky, but keep a little bit of fuel in your fuel tank because this is the first of three twists. Good. Let's go ahead and segue into the second twist. See if you can step the left foot forward to the top of the mat next to right so you come into chair twist. Step the left foot forward. Good. Now level your knees with each other. So make sure your left knee isn't sticking out beyond the right knee by pulling the left hip and the left knee back. And then drive that left elbow on that outer right thigh to help you leverage the right ribs back open to the sky. Good. Now shift into the right foot. Lift the left foot off the ground. And then step the left foot all the way to the back of the mat a little deeper than you think. So coming back to deep lunging prayer twists. Now if you want to go deeper, drop the left hand down on the outside of your front right foot. Lift the right arm to the sky. And then if you still want more, you come into a bond, you come into a wrap. But if you bring your hand down, make sure it's on the outside of the foot, not the inside. You already did that pose. Good. Navel draws towards that inner right thigh. Give it one last goodbye squeeze. And then crescent pose. Inhale both arms up for the 10 of you that are still with us. Both hands down to the ground. Drop the left knee onto the mat. Release the top of that left foot. And then slide that right foot all the way over to the left side of your yoga mat. And then pigeon pose. Let the right knee release all the way over to the right. Woo! 
turn that outer left hip down allow yourself a little inner hallelujah hallelujah i made it to a pigeon no strength required for this pose at least no physical strength maybe it'll take a little mental strength to not allow your mind to drift or wander off but on a physical level just see if you can allow yourself to just melt into the shape into the pose and allow all that medicine to permeate deep into that right hip this pose comes incredibly well deserved take advantage of it while you can Last few breaths there. Good, everybody. From here, go ahead and ease your way all the way back up onto your hands. And then tuck the right toes or the left toes underneath the left foot. Lift the left knee off the mat. And then pull the right leg all the way up and back into the air so you come into a three-legged dog. And then turn the right hip open. Bend the right knee. Let the right foot fall gently onto the ground behind you. And then flip your dog upside down so navel to the sky. Take the top left arm. Pull it out to infinity and beyond. And then one more inhale, find that climax, find that crest. And exhale, right hand reconnects back to the mat, right foot back around, coming back to down dog. Awesome, you guys. Now left leg to the sky, inhale, let's finish standing poses. Left foot top of the mat, crescent pose, inhale, both arms all the way up. Good, both hands to prayer in front of your heart. Take the right elbow, bring it to the outside of your left knee, left eye, coming into lunging prayer twists. Good. Consider taking it maybe about 60% capacity right now. 60% right now, so you're not, you're not wasting any unnecessary energy. You're in the pose, but at the same time, you still have plenty of room to grow and plenty of fuel to tap into. Good. Now, step the right foot forward to meet the left foot top of the mat, twisting chair. And then let's take it to about, we'll say, maybe 80% now. So get about 80% in there. You're taking it a little bit deeper, a little bit more intensity, a little bit more fire, a little bit more effort, but still not at 100 yet. Good. Now lean into the left foot. Lift the right foot off the ground. Step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Way back there. Get long in the stance. Get deep in there. Good. Now we're going to turn that dial from 80 to 90%. If you need to drop the arms down, go ahead. It's not necessary. If you need to take it into a bind, feel free. Wherever you are, take it to about 90%. And maybe for you, that's dropping the right knee down the ground, and that's plenty for you. You can always do that as well. Good. Now get in there. Give it one last little detoxifying, purifying squeeze. And then crescent pose. Inhale 100%. Reach those arms up. Both hands to the mat. Relax the right knee down. Woo. Slide that top left foot all the way across the mat over to the right. Let the left knee flare open towards the left. Turn the outer right hip down. And you know what to do. Just surrender to gravity. Let the whole weight of that torso just fade right out of her top, that top left leg. Oh. And there it went. You know, the pendulum just swung from intensity, hopefully, into some profound sweetness.
But even as the pendulum shifted and swung the other way, the breath still remained the same. The bond still remained the same. And the hope is that if I can do that through the oscillation of yoga poses, then hopefully I can do that through the oscillation of life events. And then if I can do it out there in life, then maybe I move through my own life a lot more gracefully and with a lot less stress and anxiety and drama and conflict. Because life is way too short to waste it on things that don't matter. See if you can feel the sacredness of each and every breath. See if you can feel the gratitude for that breath. Because without that breath, you would not exist. And it's that breath that carries this body through life. Feel the gratitude for all the blessings that exist in your life. All the amazing relationships, family, friends, loved ones, significant others. And gratitude to the fact that you get to express yourself in any way you want. That you live in a free country. Gratitude for this practice of yoga, for always being here for you. Through sickness and health, marriage and divorce, birth and death. It's always here for you to just bring you back to your center. Because anytime you're connected to that center, then nothing can throw you out of balance. Nothing can throw you off kilter. Slowly come all the way back up onto those hands. Duck the right toes underneath the right foot. Lift the right knee up. Pull the left leg all the way up and back into the air. Three-leg dog. And then externally turn the left hip open. Bend the left knee. Let the left foot fall easily onto the ground behind you. Flip the dog. Good. Take that top left arm. Pull it out. And notice you're in an arm balance, but you're also in a back bend. So feel the arch through the spine as your navel lifts up to the sky. Now with that bottom arm strong, one more big inhale, electrify yourself. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Left foot rolls back around to the last downward facing dog of the class. Huge inhale through the nose. Fill those lungs all the way up to the brim. And then out to the mouth, let it go. Good, everybody. Last inhale, stretch back. And then relax both knees onto the mat. Crawl the knees forward to the top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release down onto your sit bones. And then bring the bottoms of your feet together so toes are forward, heels are in, knees are out. And then just grab those feet. Pull those feet deep in. And then take a huge inhale. Lift that that chest all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, fold over and down, coming into Baddha Konasana, bound angle. Good. Outer hips, outer knees, rolling down towards the ground. Inhales, lengthening the spine out. And exhales, just letting the chest just, just kind of sink down. So you're, you're finding that dance between the length and the depth. Hmm. Good. Now go ahead and ease your way all the way back up to see to bring the hands to the outsides of the knees. And then just close the knees up. Close the knees together. And then take your hands, bring them behind your hips about a foot or so, about the width of the shoulders, and then turn the fingertips away from you towards the back space. Now spread the feet about the width of the shoulders as well, and feet in front of the hips also about a foot or so. Now lean back into those hands. Go ahead and lift the hips off the ground, the belly to the sky, and try and position shoulders above wrist and your knees right above your heels, your ankles. 
And as the belly lifts and the heart expands, good, see if you can allow the head to come back, but not all the way back where you're compressing through the neck. So feel the top of the neck lengthening towards the back wall. Perfect, you guys. One last inhale there. And then exhale lower, softly back down. Good. Turn the fingertips forward to the front wall. Lift the legs up into the air together, side by side. And then extend both arms straight out in front of you like a blade. Palms face each other. Now see if you can drag your shoulders back. Feel that plug into their sockets. Feel your chest lifting up some more. So shoulders back, chest up. Now lower halfway down on the inhale. And then back up on the exhale one. Inhale with breath. Exhale, lift up two. Good. Inhale, pure core. Exhale up for three, eight more. Inhale down. Exhale, get up. Good. Inhale down. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, you got it. Exhale, get up. Good. Inhale. Exhale, don't forget to smile. Inhale down. Exhale. That doesn't look like a smile. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more time. Inhale down. Exhale. Get up. Hold air. Bring the hands together. Interlace all the fingers but the indexes. And then take that and twist it over to the right. Twist it over to the right. Stay strong. Stay calm. Keep that breath long. Good. Now stroke it all the way over to the other side. You're almost there. Hang in there. Dig deep. Good. Now calm back down the middle. Spread the hands out wide. Big inhale, lift it up high. Exhale, lower all the way down. Woo! Oh. Sorry about that, you guys. Reach down, grab the shins, hug and squeeze the knees in. And then just rock that lower back gently side to side and just massage the lower back, massage the kidneys. And just know it's all smooth sailing from here. It's all downhill. And for most people, this is the sweetest part of the practice. Both feet flat on the ground, about the width of the hips. Slide the heels close in towards the hips. And then bridge pose, just press the feet down onto the mat, lift the hips up. And then tuck the shoulders underneath the upper back, interlace the fingers, draw your arms towards straight. And drop the breath way, way down into the lower belly. And it's the perfect counter pose to the core stuff that you just did. Now let those belly muscles soften, especially as the belly deflates. See, in yoga, we have counter poses, you know, like a forward bend is a good counter pose or a back bend. Or you twist to the right and then you counter pose it to the left. But we also have counter poses within life. The yin, the yang, the sun, the moon. Good. Now, feel free to either stay here and bridge or if you want to move into a deeper back bend, take upper face and bow. Bring the hands back by the ears, fingers face forward. Just make sure you get a good grip to your hands, especially if your, your hands or your mat are a little sweaty. And then press your arms and your elbows towards straight. And regardless of whether you're in bridge or up bow, can you take your inner thighs and can you spiral those in towards each other as if you're holding a block between your inner legs? That's going to keep the lower back, the sacrum, happy and open. And then consider coming up onto the tips of the toes wherever you are. Last couple breaths. Find space. Find elevation. One more big inhale there. And exhale lower softly all the way down. Reach down. Grab the shins. Hug and squeeze the knees into the belly. And then slide the hands down the legs, grab the outer edges of the feet for happy baby pose. Spread the knees out a little bit wider than your ribs. And then just pull the knees, pull the thighs down, sinking deep into the hips. 
And then roll the lower back down towards the mat. Keep your neck long, slightly tucking that chin in. And if it feels good and you want to rock side to side, go ahead. Get a nice little massage for the whole surface of the back. Good. Now bring the inner knees back together to your belly. And then gently rock the legs all the way up over your head towards the back of the space. Coming into plow pose, halasana. And bring the hands to the lower back for support. And then lightly float both legs all the way up to the sky. Turn the whole body upside down. Ankles above knees, knees above hips. Hips above triceps. And then find that place to bring your, your focus, your gaze. Look at your belly or between the big toes. Or you could even close your eyes and find an inner focal point. And you just let the pose have the time that it needs to bring all that medicine into the chest, throat, head cavities. One last inhale, stretch up to the feet. And then back to plow pose, let the legs drift all the way up over your head towards the back of the space. Good. And then from here, extend both arms straight out in front of you, along the floor. And then use your arms here to slowly roll out through every single vertebra of your spine until you feel the lower back touch down. Once the lower back reconnects down onto the mat, bring the feet on the ground, bottoms of the feet together, toes forward, heels in, let the knees splay out. And then bring one hand on top of your belly and the other hand right on top of your heart. And then close your eyes. Come back to that face soft and that mind incredibly relaxed. And everybody see if you can breathe with me as we slow our breath rate down to about three breaths per minute. Most of us breathe about 16, 17 breaths per minute. And science has now proven that there's a huge correlation between slowing the breath rate down and longevity of life. It's almost like we're given a certain amount of breaths. If we slow our breath rate down, then we increase our, our lifespan. And we see that within other, other animals, other mammals, like turtles that breathe slow, live way longer than rabbits that breathe rapidly. Not to mention, breath control does lead to mind control, and mind control leads to life control. So see if you can breathe with me. Take an inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four, five. Hold one, two, three, Four, five, exhale out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold two, one, inhale one, two, three, four, five, hold one, two, three, four, five, exhale, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, hold two, one, inhale one, two, three, four, five, pause one, two, three, four, five, exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, hold two, one, inhale one, two, three, four, five, hold one, two, three, four, five, exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause two, one, last cycle, inhale one, two, three, four, five, hold one, two, three, four, five, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold two, one, let the breath restore back to that natural flow. And then just notice, notice the after effects of what you just did. Notice where that mind is at. See if you can hold that space, reach the hands down, grab the outer knees, close the knees back together, grab the shins, squeeze the knees and the thighs deep in. And then keep the right knee hugged in, extend the left leg straight out in front of you along the floor. And then open the right arm out to the right. Bring your gaze out across that right arm, right shoulder. And then with the left hand on the outer right knee, let the right knee twist now all the way over to the left. And especially right now, let, there, let it just be a soft twist so you're not cranking in. Just nice and soft. Right knee back up to the center line. Squeeze the right thigh back in. And then switch sides. Left knee in. Right leg extends out. Left arm opens out to the left. And then just let that left knee drape and twist all the way over to the other side. The left knee back up to center to neutral. Hug both the left and the right knee deep into the belly. And then finally on a big inhale, curl the forehead up towards both knees. Give everything a big hug. And then exhale, shavasana, release and relax. All the way down onto your back. Spread the legs, open the arms out, open palms up to the sky close the eyes and find comfort and then through the comfort find physical stillness and then find mental stillness as well Now see how deep you can now submerge into that stillness. As if you're just falling inward into yourself, just like gravity pulls us down. Allow yourself to surrender to that inward pull that pulls you right into source. Right to the very essence of you. Last few minutes here. Shavasana.
the body from here slowly easily start to come back back into that sensation of the body being held by the ground back into that gentle ebb and flow of the breath then reach the arms all the way up over your head towards the back of the space interlace the fingers turn the palms inside out and as you stretch back through the arms Stretch the feet, stretch the toes forward. Get a nice, good full body stretch. And then reach down, grab the shins, hug and squeeze the knees and thighs into your belly, into your torso. And then gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final cross-legged seated position where we'll seal, seal the journey. Once you get up to seated, bring both hands back up to prayer in front of your chest. Sit up tall. Keep the eyes closed. And just take a moment to pause and just reflect within all the goodness that you've invoked and aligned with. And then taking all this goodness out to the world and to our careers school studies, other forms of sports, athletics, and especially into our relationships. Our relationships to ourselves, our relationships to other human beings, also our relationship to nature and to the sacred, to the divine. Thank you guys for bringing that wonderful energy to class today. Have a beautiful rest of your night. Much health, much wealth, much love to you. Namaste.